take out Georgia's two recent losses to Alabama, the Bulldogs have gone 46-0 and straight up in all other games going back to November of 2020. But they are 0-2 in those two games against Alabama in recent seasons. So the question becomes, is Georgia the better team this year? Do they deserve to be a road favorite? Or is there value with Alabama as a rare, very rare home dog this Saturday night? I've got the answer. I'm going to let you know what side to play and how to make some money here coming up free in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And I'm breaking down by far the biggest game so far this season. Might go down as the biggest game all year. Two top four teams head to head Saturday night, 7 30 Eastern on ABC. And look, the look ahead line this summer was out Georgia as high as minus five. Everyone expected Bama to take a step back this year with Nick Saban gone. Obviously, a huge revenge spot for Georgia because they, lo- they ran the table until the SEC championship game and then lost to Alabama last year. And that they, they didn't even get in the playoffs. Didn't even get in the 14 playoff, which is kind of ridiculous considering they'd gone back-to-back national championship seasons and were undefeated the year before. And as I mentioned, the year before that, they lost to Bama in the title game, but then went on to win the whole thing. So if you take out that 0-2 run, Georgia's 46-0 straight up since November of 2020. Their last loss was Florida before that. And they also lost to Alabama a few weeks before that in the 2020 COVID-shortened season. So yes, Georgia's a really good team. These are the two best programs in college football. In fact, each of the last two years, they've ranked first and second in recruiting class. Um, Two well-coached teams. So the question becomes, where's the value in this game? Well, let's start with my simulation. As you know, I run 10,000 games through my database each and every week for every FBS game. And on average, I've got Alabama winning this game by six points. That's right. Bama winning by six on average. So yes, there is some solid line value with the Crimson Tide as a rare home dog. And once again, to put this line move in perspective, the look-ahead line at Circa back in June was Georgia minus five. Uh, The advanced bettable line about a week ago, both teams had a buy last week. The look-ahead line was about three and a half to four at some sports books. And now it's it's below that key field goal. There's a couple reasons why. First of all, Bama is a bit of a public dog. Ding, ding, red flag alert. Nope, not a red flag alert. White flag alert here because the sharp money is also on Alabama. And we don't just blindly fade the public. We don't blindly fade all public dogs. We do take it into account. And yes, this line has dropped a bit because of that. And instead of getting a field goal or more like a couple weeks ago, we're getting less. We're only getting about two points now. But I still think there's line value because once again, my simulation favors Alabama by six points. So let's look at the stats a little deeper and see if this is justified. I do think you have to give Georgia a little bit of a knockdown after that Kentucky showing in their last game. Sure, maybe it was a look-ahead spot to this Bama game, but they had a buy on deck. Uh, they were coming off easy wins against Clemson and Tennessee Tech by a combined score of 82-6. to Kentucky had just looked terrible in that 31-6 loss to South Carolina. And Kentucky almost wins that game outright. Very well could have won that game outright as a 22-point home dog. And what's concerning is that Georgia only put up 13 points in the game. Georgia's gone under in all three games this year. They have not turned the ball over yet, but they've only forced three turnovers. Their defense is great. There's no question about that. One of the best defenses, once again, in college football. But the offense is suspect. They only had 100 rushing yards against Kentucky. In fact, they were outrushed 170 to 102, and they only threw for 160. That's going to be a problem against a very good Alabama defense. And Bama has been the more dominant team in the line of scrimmage so far in their three games, uh, rushing for at least 180 yards or more in all three. And very impressive showing in their step-up in class road game against Wisconsin before the bye a couple weeks ago. Went in their 42-10 win. And, of course, they were sluggish against South Florida in Week 2, just like last year. But they turned it on, won that game 42-16. So that second half turn on against South Florida really carried in to the Wisconsin game. And keep in mind, this is a new coaching staff with the boards there from Washington. So I think there were a little bit of a learning curve, a little bit of growing pains. I thought that was the buy sign at the end of the South Florida game into the Wisconsin game, and it continues this week as well. Live home dog with the buy. I know Georgia has revenge, but this game is just as big for Alabama. So the revenge, in my opinion, really isn't a factor. Also, Bama is, what is it, three out of the last four straight up against Georgia. They've won, but of course, that was Nick Saban. So I'm not giving that too much credence. But the point is, these athletes can play with Georgia. They're the two most talented, deepest teams in the country. The recruiting class rankings show that. And now we get them as a home dog. And we get line value, according to my ratings. Public might like Bama, but I like them too. Take a look at Alabama plus two on Saturday night. Hey, what are your thoughts on this game? What side are you playing? Are you looking at that total, by the way? The over-under I mentioned is around 48 and a half. Um, If Georgia's offense is really that much weaker, could the under be in play? We saw a look-ahead line um, a little bit higher than that. So 
Once again, do you like the side? Do you like the total? Include some analysis. What are you looking at? Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. Also include other best bets you like this week in college football. I've got a ton of other standalone solo videos here. Also, my top 25 video obviously will feature this game, but several other games as well. So click that bell when you subscribe for an instant alert so you never miss out on these free play videos. And also my NFL Fade the Public video will be up this weekend for week four. Thumbs up, like is always appreciated for these free videos. Thumbs up, like. And if you want my personal best bets this weekend, and you really should because we are red hot in all sports, including college and fo- pro football, 10 and 4 the last two weeks, over 70% winners in college and pro football. And it's not a surprise. I entered this season when the most units ATS the last two years combined at Wager Talk in college and pro football. And oh, by the way, baseball on a current 31 and 11 best bet run as we head towards the playoffs. NBA starts in a few weeks. I'm number one the last three years combined in profit in the NBA. Number one a couple years ago in college hoops as well. So I know you're thinking baseball, football, basketball, so many decisions. Maybe in all sports is the way to go. Yes, that is the way to go. It's quite simple. Get an all sports, all access subscription, and you never miss a single play from any sport any day. These are the exact same best bets I'm personally using. The same games I've won with consistently for the past 29 years as a full-time professional handicapper. And right now, we have a special 90-day special. In fact, it's really a 120-day special because you buy the three-month, we include the fourth month for free. That's a $299 additional value for free. No promo code needed. It's through this weekend only. Buy a three-month package, and we include a bonus month, so you get four months for the price of three. That works out to about $7 a day, just over $3 a play. Or the best deal, I'm going to bring it back another week because many of you have gotten on board, but also many of you have sat back and watched winter after winter pass you by. A full one-year all-access with an instant $800 discount with promo code SM365. That gets it down to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bet I release for the next 365 days and nights. Hey, I offered that a few weeks ago. I know many of you have gotten on board, but if you missed the 10-4 and football run the last two weeks, I like this weekend's card even more in college and pro football. The current 31-11 and baseball best bet run. Basketball about to start. Now's the time to get on board. You can get a three-month package and get the fourth month for free or get the one-year all-access and save over $800 with promo code SM365. Hey, look, you don't have to memorize the special offers of the promo codes. You can go to my page right now, view them all, see what works best for you. And while you're there, check out the daily best bets. Right below that, you'll see the daily free play. That's right, a bonus free play every day on my page with analysis. Right below that free play are the weekly specials and promo codes. So go check it out right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.